John chapter 7, verse 5. For not even his brothers believed him. And in the translation I have, it's in parentheses. It's a parenthetical notation for the reader in this narrative. And what we have is Jesus' brothers, James, uh, Joseph, Judas, or uh, Jude, and Simon, who are talking to Jesus and saying, Hey, you lost all your popularity. You need to go up to uh, Judea. You need to go be popular again. And now we have this note that says they didn't even believe him. And what an interesting statement, because after his death, burial, and resurrection, some of them did. Some of them became leaders in the church. They, they proclaimed who he was. They saw they had their eyes open. But at this point, they did not believe. They had the opportunity before them. But they were not turning to Christ. What a great opportunity it would have been to walk with him in this difficult season, as the other disciples did. But it's just showing us the depth in which the truth of this ministry was just whittled down to these 12 when they said, where else are we going to go? You're the only one that has the truth to life. These witnesses, this is hard. It says, you know, truth is not defined by large numbers. If lots of people are believing it, that doesn't necessarily mean at all that it's biblical truth. Mega churches, just because they're big, that doesn't mean that they're necessarily better. Here, Jesus' entire following of his disciples was 12 people in his own flesh and blood on the human side were not even believing that he was who he says he was, and they were almost, and it's hard to read, I'm not sure, but maybe they're even almost mocking. He's going to tell them in a minute that uh, they are not believers. They are not with him. They are not his disciples. You know, what a missed opportunity for them. Of course, we have to trust in God's timing in all of this, because it also makes for a great statement that Jesus' own brothers eventually believed. I mean, what would you have to do to prove to your siblings that you were fully human and fully God, that you were the Savior of the world, that you were the Messiah everybody had been waiting for. Uh, unless you really were that person, it would be impossible to convince a sibling. 